Here we got the 2008 XServe server with the RAID controller. And as many of you know, it has a battery, battery backup for the RAID configuration. And when the battery is dead, it's, you know, 125, 150 bucks to get a new battery and it's just not worth it. So what we're going to do is upgrade it with a non-RAID SATA controller board, which I got on eBay. And let's look at the procedure. From what I gather, I'm going to have to remove the screws from this vent first, then get in here and disconnect the power supplies and the leads powering the board. There's a couple of screws and it slides out and that should do it. Oh, pop the drives out as well. So let's, let's get into that. So first I'm going to take the screws out of this vent cover. Okay, after you get the screws out, it sort of lifts up a little bit at an angle and pulls out. Give me a chance to do some dusting on this thing. And then definitely pull out the power supplies. Let me get these little handles. You've got dual power supplies. When you pull it out, it disconnects it from here. The power supply plugs into this board here. So that releases that. I know that's coming up soon. I need that. Uh, this fan module has to come out. How is that secured in there? Okay, <clears throat> figured it out. There's actually was two screws on this fan assembly. One way in the corner here, you can see it right there, and there's the screw hole, and one on the right side here, right here. Those two screws, you loosen them up, they're kind of spring-loaded. See that? Anyways, they're spring-loaded, they stay together. This is really well-engineered. And then this thing just popped out. This connector just popped out of that hole right there. Nothing to disassemble, just unscrew it and then kind of wiggle it and pick it up. And of course, I can get in there and dust this now, blow it out with some compressed air. Now that I have it out, this one, oh, pretty dirty one. Now I can see, I can see the battery down there through the crack here. You probably can't see it, but I got to remove, this is the rate controller card. I see there's a screw here that uh, releases and should pop this out. Then there's this ribbon cable that should un unseat, and this might be the the power for the uh, battery, the battery connector right there. Looks like that's that. And this other one, the main power, power distribution. Uh, it's this is really stiff. Uh, I'm gonna have to probably use some pliers to kind of you know unlock it and then wiggle it out. I don't want to break these cables. But um, this is kind of stiff right here. I got to get this out. Once I get this out, disconnect that, pop this out, unscrew this. I should be able to slide the card and it should come out. Oh, I got to pop the drives as well. Unseat those drives. Because they're holding into the card as well. All right. Okay, I got this one freed. I, uh, <clears throat> this little locking mechanism here, you gotta squeeze it down, and then I used a flathead screwdriver to give me some leverage to kind of push it out, and it popped out. This um, is the power, just, I use a screwdriver to wiggle this wire up, up a little bit, and then grab onto the wire itself, and, oh, again, it pulls out that way. I was trying to, I thought this whole mechanism was coming up, but no, it's just this little, this little wire pops out. Okay, cool. And this one here just lifts up. That yellow tab just lift up on the yellow tab. It'll pop right out. All right, so it looks clean. It looks pretty clear. There's a screw there. It's really just a well-engineered machine. You know, not a lot of screws. There's one here. And this should uh, pull this way towards me. And it should pop out. Let's dry that now. All right, so that worked. Um, once you loosen up that screw right there, you know, it's kind of a spring-loaded screw. Then you kind of wiggle it 
I wiggled this end out first and then slowly worked my way out over here and these just disconnected these SATA connectors disconnected one at a time kind of pulled it out set that aside and now you can see if your server's been wherever it's been you know uh, it might need some dusting blow some air in there there's some little bit of dust but no big deal and there's the battery right there I guess I gotta pull this pull this out I guess let me see I'll see what's next but I gotta get this battery out oh yeah because uh, there's tabs here and I guess maybe over here holding that battery in gotta pull that out so let's get to that next all right so once I unscrewed that this thing just slid towards me these uh, pins disconnected from that the motherboard and it's free okay there's the battery let's get this battery out of here should just lift right out it's taped to the bottom or double double stick taped at the bottom there we go got it take it out this is the the weak spot of this whole system this having to have a battery backup I mean you would think that they would have it had, had, had a flash that could have stored this in non-volatile RAM and then when you boot it up it would you know grab that information from non-volatile RAM that would have been the best way but uh, you know maybe they saved a little bit but there we go I got everything out I'm gonna blow it out with uh, dust it with uh, air compressed air and then let's put it back together with the new non-raid Apple SATA controller board okay we're going in reverse now I dusted everything there wasn't that much dust, but when there is dust, it's just wow. Uh, put this board back in. It's reconnected here. I'm going to lock this nut down, screw down, and then put in the new uh, non-RAID card. Looky here. Underneath this lip, I know it's kind of hard to see, but there's little uh, like U-shaped brackets. There you go. There's one that this new board has to slide into has a little trouble getting it in there so you gotta line it up so that so that the board not only is hooked into these holes correctly but also slides into this uh, you know we guess you would call it like a u-shaped holder it's going to hold the board in the right position there's several of them so that's something to be aware of all right the way i got this in here is i angled it up coming in angled it up Got them in those sort of U-shaped slots first. Did I get them all? I think so. And then once you get them in the slots, line it up over these holes, and it should just fall right in. And it did. And then slide it forward away from me, and it should lock into place. Then you can lock down this screw. And then reconnect these connectors. This one, this one. And no more connector for the battery because <laughs> there's no battery on this guy getting closer okay got the fan assembly back in and the way to do that is really line up those holes most uh, importantly you know there's one screw down there and one screw right there line those up perfectly and then when you slide it slide it into place and tighten those screws down this connector should reconnect there's a little bit of wiggle room but it should reconnect obviously uh, yeah, I can look and see that it is connected down there. That's uh, what's going to get the power to the fans, fan array. So, last but not least is the uh, vent cover. Reconnect the power supplies and fire it back up. All right, dust cover back in place, screwed in. Now, the moment of truth, we're going to fire this puppy up. Oh, but first, let's get those power supplies back in. Fit. Yep. Good. Clickety click, clickety clack. Alright, it's plugged in. Drives are in.
the fans cooking. Are the fans going? Oh, wow, this one's pretty quiet. Mm, success. Yes, semi just just booted up. So it's been a successful mission. If anybody's interested in the raid card, I will post this on eBay. I'll have the raid card, the, the used battery, and the power connector, just in case. This whole kit here, those three items, I'll put them up for sale on eBay. Look in the description box below for the link. If it's in the description box, that means it's available. If it's gone from the description box, that means it's already sold. All right. Well, thanks for watching here on N90X. Hope this has been helpful to you. Whether you're going to swap out the controller board or swap out the battery, this is the procedure you're going to go through to uh, disconnect, disassemble, and then reassemble your Apple 2008 XServe server. Really well engineered, well engineered machine. I really wish they would not have discontinued this. It's really a fantastic piece of hardware. Hope this has been helpful. Anyway, thumb it up, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.